Solid wrap to the weekend. Mine was great. I hope yours was as well. Here we are with Tech Monday. It was a busy week. Hope you're ready. Tomorrow kicks off Amazon's third annual Amazon Prime Day. Year three. Uh, they're making it 30 hours this year because 24 clearly wasn't enough. Amazon Prime Day is just a huge day for deals on Amazon's own products, like 50% off the Amazon Echo. But if you're in the market for something else, it's worth checking out because they always have random stuff up there. Uh, and then Walmart and Best Buy, they're going to have deals as well. It's like a Black Friday that Amazon started in July. And now everyone's like, oh shit, Amazon's offering deals on products. We got to offer deals too. Now, I know I talk a lot about Tesla and Elon Musk. I am obviously big fans of both, but the Model 3, the entry-level $35,000 electric vehicle, did just get off the line. The first production vehicle is ready to go, and it's Elon's. Now, Elon is saying that by the end of July, they will have made 30 of them, 3-0. Um, by the end of December, they will be up to 20,000 a month, and with like 400 something thousand pre-orders, you're not going to be able to get one until 2019. For those of you guys who don't know, the Model 3 is Tesla's cheapest, most entry-level vehicle yet. It's not like a Honda Civic. It's more in the line of like a BMW 3 Series. But at $35,000 base price, it's kind of opening the doors. Oh shit. Cops on horse. So Ticketmaster just started testing this cool new feature where instead of using those lame QR codes on your phone that never scan the first time, um, they're going to be using an ultrasonic frequency to emit this noise that will register your tickets when you walk in. Now, so there's a new product on Kickstarter right now called Ama Brush, and in five days, it has raised $850,000. It is essentially a toothbrush that brushes all of your teeth at the same time. Now, while this toothbrush looks kind of weird, and it's $90, What's interesting to me is that they're pushing this not as a toothbrush that's better than your normal toothbrush, but more that it's easier. So it's kind of for people who like don't brush their teeth enough. So clearly there's a huge market for people who feel they do not brush their teeth often enough or long enough or well enough, whatever it is, because um, people have been ordering them. But the whole concept of brushing all your teeth at once is kind of cool. Now last on the list, July 12th is in two days and it is the net neutrality support day. So expect to see a bunch of your websites come out in support of net neutrality. We recently just added Facebook and Google to the list, so it's a pretty big fight. Now, losing net neutrality is going to affect all of us. So on Wednesday, when you see these websites with their banners showing their support of net neutrality, pay attention, follow the call to actions, and be one also to show your support for this. I don't ever want to hear one of you say, Oh, we didn't think it would pass, so we didn't show our support. What? And that is Monday. I hope you guys learned something. As always, I hope you have a great week. And I will see you again on Thursday, because I really enjoyed doing Thursday. You know, a lot's been happening, and keep you guys up to date. I don't have to leave stuff behind.